And meantime, new this morning, we have learned one of two Volusia County residents who tested positive for the virus may have a connection to Trinity United Methodist Church in DeLand. The church posted online is shutting down until Monday after being told a member tested positive and had recently been there. The pastor says the focus is deep cleaning right now and making sure no one else shows symptoms. Meantime, new from overnight, worries over the coronavirus caused a scare on one flight to Florida. We have some new video to show you from the airport in West Palm Beach, where firefighters say the Department of Health responded to a, quote, medical incident on board a JetBlue flight from New York. Now, no other details were released by officials, but the CBS station in West Palm says most passengers were eventually allowed to go home. This scare coming just hours after President Trump announced some strict new rules when it comes to air travel, specifically a ban on many Europeans coming to the U.S. Mark Lehman is live at Orlando International Airport for us this morning. And Mark, obviously this could have a major impact on our tourism, but the president says it's necessary. Yeah, he says the actions are strong, but they're also needed to protect the health and well-being of all Americans. Now, here in Orlando, several direct flights will be affected by those travel restrictions, something also having a big impact on industries already hit hard by the pandemic. I will always put the well-being of America first. President Trump suspending travel from most areas in Europe to the United States beginning Friday at midnight. Those restrictions not applying to the United Kingdom. There will be exemptions for Americans who have undergone appropriate screenings, and these prohibitions will not only apply to the tremendous amount of trade and cargo, but various other things as we get approval. The measures coming in an effort to prevent spread of the coronavirus. The president continuing to stress the risk to most is low, but also issued a warning for older Americans. In particular, we are strongly advising that nursing homes for the elderly suspend all medically unnecessary visits. The president also asked Congress for an additional $50 billion in funding for small business loans and says he will call on the IRS to delay the April 15th tax deadline for certain businesses and individuals. Meanwhile, families across the country are urged to take their own precautions. Smart action today will prevent the spread of the virus tomorrow. And all of this comes as health experts are preparing for more cases here in the United States. Now, at this point, uh, the travel restrictions are set to be in place for 30 days. Now, right now, we're working to learn exactly how many flights will be affected here at the airport. For now, reporting live in Orlando, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6. Thank you, Mark. And it appears the president's comments last night were not enough to calm the fears of investors. Overnight futures on the U.S. stock indexes again took a tumble, indicating there will be another big decline at the opening bell. That follows a 1,400-point drop on the Dow just yesterday, officially putting the Dow into bear market territory for the first time in more than a decade. It is important to stress that it is seniors who remain most at risk from this virus, but that's not stopping several Florida universities from taking steps to keep students safe. And state leaders have now told them all classes should be moved online. At UCF, that starts Monday when students are back from spring break and all classes will be done remotely by Wednesday. UCF's telling students to plan to not be back on campus for at least two weeks. And Rollins College goes on break next week. Leaders there are telling students to take all their important belongings with them as they're not sure if students will be allowed back. UF and Florida State are also making some changes. All the details are online. Go to clickorlando.com. So why all of these new restrictions now, you might be wondering. Health officials say it's because of the continued rise in cases and the growing signs of just how fast the coronavirus can spread. Increasing information is coming out showing that this is more severe than the flu, for, particularly for the elderly population. The protective measures are what we'll continue to emphasize. Uh, cover your cough, stay at home when you're sick, stay away from individuals uh, uh, who are ill, and continue to wash your hand. Health workers also continue to stress about 80% of patients have only mild cases and they do recover. And while many things like NBA games are being canceled, many other events are still going on. That includes a concert set for this weekend at the Amway Center. The arena has already added hand sanitizers and put up signs warning people to practice healthy habits. The city of Orlando has not canceled any events. Do you plan to? 
I, I don't know. We would, it would depend on how this uh, goes in the next days and weeks. Now, all of Central Florida's theme parks remain open. Disney, Universal, SeaWorld say they've increased cleaning. Disney's also added portable hand washing stations across the parks and hotels. They're, they're doing a lot, though. I mean, when you, uh, like the people using the restrooms there, I, mean, I don't think you've ever seen so much cleaning agents being applied. I mean, they're really working hard uh, to keep uh, those theme parks in good working order. Disney announced yesterday its theme park in Tokyo, Japan, will stay closed until April, while parts of its resort in Shanghai, China, have begun to reopen. Now, a reminder, we have a whole section on our website dedicated to helping you get results and get the facts about the virus. Now, we're following all the new cases here in Florida and across the country, as well as changes being made to try and stop the spread of the coronavirus. And you can submit questions for our experts to answer. Go to clickorlando.com coronavirus.